discussing the last class. We were discussing about the, how to create macro variables, how to create macro variables, and we are creating macro variables in within a macro. Remember how to create a macro variable? How many ways we can create a macro variable? Use a different macro variable. Five ways. Can create a macro variable. Water. Five. Five, five ways. ways, right? So, what what was the first way we have seen? Percentage. Right? Awesome. The second one we were discussing was percentage. Global. Global. And what was the third one we have? Percentage. Same local. And I told you the what is the fourth one? Also important. What was the fifth one that we have? In the last class, we started discussing about the percentage global. Why we should use the percentage global? I told you, when you are trying to create a macro variable by using a percentage let openly, if you have any error, if you commit any syntax error, what will happen now? Even though you rectify that error later, I told you that error will not be get rectified. We will get open code state because it detected. If we have an open code state because it detected, even though you rectify that your program, your error, that error will not be get erased. You will get the error again and again. To avoid that one, if you want to rectify this one, we do not have any other choice. What we should do is how to close the session and if you reopen the session. So to avoid that unnecessary crashing of the session, what we do, we always try to create a macro variable within a macro. Now how to create a macro variable within a macro? If you want to create a macro variable within a macro, what we should do? We should start with the percentage macro and we should write a macro name in this scenario i told you we do not require any parameters then i'm going to specify percentage and mac one one more time but in between these two now we are going to write the macro variables now i'm writing percentage let the macro variable is equal to i want to have a macro variable called td in the td macro variable i want to have a today's date if you want to have a today's data, what is the syntax we should write? Where we can get what is the base class function that we have to get today's date value? We have a today off or we have a date off that use a today off function. But I told you if you want to use any base class function in a macros, you always enclose that base class base class function. In a macro function called percentage sys from cuff, percentage sys from cuff, and then what we should do, we should write the base as function within the parentheses. If you execute the program, a macro variable called td will be created. But uh, where I am creating this one, <coughs> sorry, we are creating within a macro, we can find the value only within the macro. Now, if I specify percentage put, okay, arm percent PD. Now, if I select the program, execute the program. Now, in the log window, okay, we haven't uh, activated the macro. I'm getting percentage Mac one. Now the macro is being invoked. Now we can find the value. Now this is the value we can find. 
it has been resolved as an alarm number of days but uh, if at the same percentage put function so same percentage put statement how would say your macro, voice is breaking sir my voice is breaking it's clear sir but right if same percentage put outside the macro this ampersand td will not be get resolved we are going to have you know so specified macro apparent symbolic reference so td not resolved because of, we have created this macro only within a macro we have created this macro variable within a macro so now this is not ready to use outside the macro if you want to use this macro variable outside the macro what we should do we should globalize that macro variable how to globalize a macro variable we should write a statement called percentage global and then which macro variable we want to globalize a macro variable in td db is equal now if you execute this statement one time now the macro variable will become globalized now if i execute this statement now we can get the value for the macro variable but we will get the value in a lot of ways and if you want to have a date value what we should do while creating a macro itself macro name macro variable itself if we give them if we give that in format now this will be get resolved in a date and format you will get it 25th october 2022 that is one later this is how we can create a macro variable within a macro and then after that this is how we can globalize that okay and i want to have next year same day we have seen other macro variables by the way i want to create yesterday's date in a variable called yd how to create a macro variable in which i want to have yesterday's date then tell me what should i do now i am writing i want to have yesterday's in a macro variable so percentage let yd is equal to if you want to get the incremented or decremented past or future dates what are the base as function that we use we use a base as function called intnx now i'm writing intnx of open the parenthesis intnx i want the interval should be the day because i want to decrement in number of days day is my interval comma which date i want to decrement today's date where we have the today's date we have today's in a macro variable called ampersand td but i told you that ampersand td the ampersand td will be get resolved as a 25th october 2022 the 25th october 2022 is alpha numerical value but i want to resolve it as a large number of days so if you want to do that one i told you what we should do we should keep this within the parent within the inverted quotations and then followed by we should write the t of the d is in format that will be cut con that we convert the date into a large number of days that i'm going to specify comma and then how many days i want to decrement i want to decrement to minus one day out this is how we should write it but since int next is a base as function if you want to use that base as function in macros how we can do that one we need to enclose that base as function in a in a macro function called percentage sys func open the parenthesis now we should write format date and dot whatever the format you want you can write it now close the parenthesis if you want to see yd can i write a yd if you want to check the ampersand yd no still this we created a macro variable within a macro if you want to check the value outside the macro we have to globalize it now i'm writing yd in the program and execute the program now the yd will be get resolved and you will get the value which is 24th october 2022 understand this sir i want to create a macro variable in that i want to have some text now i'm writing percentage left macro variable be h3 is equal to i'm writing you know this is sas macro function yes. i 
want to find the length of the macro, the length of the text. If you want to find the length of the text, how we can find the length of a given text? What is the base loss function that we have to find the length of a given variable? Anybody? How to find the length of a given text? What is the base loss function that we have? We have a length function. Length function will return the length of given, the length of a given variable. Now, how we can do that? Now, I am getting person page length. I want to get text length txt length l is equal to now length of ampersand txt. Can I use a base loss function like this one? If you want to use a base loss function like this one, what we should do? We should use, we should enclose that base loss function in percentage. Like. Okay. No. By the way, I want to find the txt value and the txt l value. First of all, I want to globalize both the variables. If you want to globalize, what I should do? You should hit the txt and then txt l. So select the program and execute the program. Now it is going to be get globalized. I want to check the values. So by the way, I am getting ampersand txt and I'm getting arm percent txt l. Through the program, can you see in the log window, now this is the txt value, and by the way, this is the txt l, the length of that. That's how we can find the length of a given variable. Understand this one? Yes, sir. I will continue in tomorrow's class, okay? I have to take the next class. Next class will be okay. We will continue tomorrow, okay? Shop 7 o'clock. Okay, I will take this weekend also, start and send it to finish it up as early as possible. Okay. Continue. Can you share this in WhatsApp groups? Uh, we haven't sent, we haven't, this much only. Did you want this to code? Uh, so, live like groups is also not. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, last two classes also not shared, sir. Second? Yeah. It you, shared somewhere, not, right? Yes, sir. You are saved in somewhere, but not yet. I do that. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.